Hey, Garrett Bro here. Today we're looking at something a little bit different. This is the Parrot Anafi Thermal. It's a small platform UAS or drone uh, that, that has both optical and thermal and zoom and is full radiometric. Uh, of course, the first question is always what's, what's the price? And if that's all you want to know, this one is retailing, I'm being told retailing for $1,900 US dollars. So uh, and to me, to my knowledge, that's the lowest price point of a small platform that has all that capability. But uh, anyway, the good folks out at Airworks Unmanned Solutions reached out to me and said, Hey, Garrett, you know, they're, they're a big uh, supporter of public safety. They have a lot of public safety customers. And instead of just throwing us out there, they said, Hey, we want to know if this thing will stand up and, and actually be a good performer in public safety before we offer it to our customers. So when you run this thing through the ringer, give it a good evaluation and see how it performs in public safety scenarios. And of course, um, I'm happy to do that. I, I love to do that. And as you know, my, my thing is uh, UAS and public safety. So anyway, big thanks out to the Air, guys at Airworks. And uh, uh, we'll kind of take a look at this thing. This thing, by the way, this is a uh, Parrot is a French manufacturer, if you didn't know that already, meaning that this is a French designed drone. So anyway, let's take a look at it. Um, inside here, this is the case that it comes in. Open this up. Uh, inside the case, in the lid, right up here, let me see if I can bring this up a little bit. Okay, in the lid up here, uh, this is where the actual aircraft is kept. Uh, down here, we have the batteries. All right, so you see a Nafi there. Uh, this is the battery, the flight pack. And of course, the first question is how much are the flight packs? They also want to know the price. And I'm happy to say uh, it's it's also uh, pretty inexpensive, relatively speaking. Uh, at $99 is what I'm told these retailers. So, you know, batteries is one of those things that's like bullets to a police officer or water to a firefighter. You really can't have enough, at least to an extent. So uh, at that price point, uh, you can definitely afford uh, all that you need. So we have a battery there, a battery here, and then in here we have the controller. All right, the controller. Uh, nice simple controller. You got two sticks there. You have a here is your your uh, tilt for your your gimbal. Uh, this is to recenter the gimbal. This is to zoom in and out. Again, this is a zoomable unit. I don't know if you heard that in the beginning, it's optical, thermal, zoom, and radiometric, and on a small platform. And then this is uh, your shutter. Uh, again, your stick standard. And then to power it on, there is no power switch. You just flip this open. You see the light there. It automatically powers on. Of course, you got your home button. Uh, stuff like that. Now, one of the things for me, I don't really like flying. This is this is designed to put your phone in here. Uh, I don't really like flying with a phone. It's too small of a display. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting old or something. I don't know. But I like big displays. Um, and they it comes with this tablet holder that just quick mounts on your controller. And you can open that up, put your tablet in there, close it, and now you're flying with your tablet. So anyway, uh, if you're like me, that'll, that'll definitely get a lot of use. So I'll go ahead and, eh, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just put this back in here. Like so, kind of keep the mess down. Oops. There we go. All right, go ahead and close that. We'll flip that over like so. And then we're going to kind of go over to the right here. This is the... Uh, the, it looks like a big nest of cables. Uh, the nice thing about this is that this is pretty much all the cables you need. This this charges the batteries, it charges the controller, connects your controller to your tablet and every your phone or anything above. So that's it. Now I do like this. Uh, you know, we get a lot of times we have to buy all these proprietary charging systems. And you know, again, going back to the thing, public safety they, they need a lot of batteries so they can sustain indefinite flight. Well, if you've got to buy all these proprietary chargers and all this stuff, it, it just kind of gets out of control. One of the nice things about this is it's just standard USB. So this is a charging hub that comes with it. And I, as you can see, you can charge your batteries plus your controller there. But let's just say you are that agency that goes and he buys, uh, you know, 10 batteries. You don't have to go buy a, a bunch of proprietary stuff. You can even get a USB charger down at a, at a gas station. So uh, anyway, really like that. Uh, nice job on that so that uh, again kind of keep it simple all right and that's kind of it for for all these side pouches let's get down to the aircraft itself 
Now this video is designed to be just kind of a quick overview. There's going to be a lot of uh, performance testing and, and scenarios coming up. So I just kind of wanted to get you to know when you see a video that says, hey, we've tested such and such with the uh, Paradinafi thermal, then you know exactly what we're talking about. So this is the actual aircraft. First thing you'll notice is it's super small. Um, you know, this is, here, let me put it in my hand here. All right. So this thing pretty much fits in the palm of my hand. It's not, not thick either. It's just a nice small unit. You, you could easily stick this in your front pocket in a uh, backpack, super easy, but uh, cargo pocket, front pocket, um, you know, jacket pocket or anything like that. All right. The way that this uh, unfolds is these back arms just open up like so front arms just come out like so and you can do it in any order there isn't any kind of proprietary order um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this little they have a gimbal, little rubber gimbal cover here to protect the lenses I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and so there it is now the gimbal on the front uh, you have a optical this is a 21 megapixel uh, Sony sensor in there and then on the bottom you have a FLIR um, lepton sensor in the bottom and you can do blending and all that stuff now we'll look at the at the controls and the display and all that kind of stuff later uh, right now again I'm just wanting you to kind of get a look at the actual physical aircraft and stuff itself all right so one of the things that you'll notice and 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 I don't know this to be true but I anticipate it will is they these these uh, rotor blades are designed a little bit different see how short they are they're they're fatter to generate the lift but they're shorter now this if this thing flies good indoors that's going to come in really handy because what that means is that you aren't having to shoehorn the aircraft through a, a door jam and and with the just a few inches between the tips of the blades and the door jam and it should it should make it easier to pass through all right so uh i'm, I'm looking to see how that performs um on the bottom of course you do have your optical sensors for for flying and it's got a cooling fan uh, to, to cool down all your electronics and everything inside of there. The cooling fan is on the bottom, which is, which is uh, nice there. All right. Um, the battery, to remove the battery, you just kind of push this big button-looking thing, and it just slides back like this. Uh, and there's your flat pack. Now, this is the SD card. I don't know if I'm a big fan of where they put that. It seems like it might be a little bit delicate, uh, but we'll have to just see how that pans out. So, and then, of course, putting it on there, you just pop it on. Oop, nice and easy, no tricks and no no having to grab it in any kind of uh, weird way. So anyway, um, again, this is so this is just a, at a high level. Uh, this is the the Anafi, uh, the Parrot Anafi thermal, and uh, we're gonna put this through some public safety scenarios over the next couple of weeks and uh, post videos out here. So anyway, uh, we'll talk to y'all later. Bye.